What's good with it in the hood with it? Welcome back to the Collective Clips. Yeah, we're clipped up. We're really clipped up. Now, before we get into the story of the day, and before we talk about the issue, man, let's hit that like, that subscribe, and that notification button and turn it to all so we can really get it in, right? We're about to get this in. Now, shout outs to Food and Felons, man. Shout outs to my boy, the Dubs and Dubs channel. And of course, Trap Island Records. That's the winning team right there, the money team. And let's go ahead and uh, support the homies, you know, in their endeavors on YouTube. Um, gracias. It's highly appreciated. Now, Perro Chatos, Bulldog, the Fresno, and County Dogs, and Corco Dogs, and any type of fucking Bulldog there is right in the world, other than them little ugly ones running around your yard. Um, they've been holding it down for a while in Fresno, in the, in the outside areas of Fresno County, right? Sanger, Clovis. There's Bulldogs in Clovis? Maybe, right? You know, uh, Huron and all that. Um, Orange Cove stand up, you know. But they got a problem, homes. They got an issue. Just like the Norteños got their issues, the Southerners had their issues. There's Raza issues. And the issue is, everybody wants to go against everybody, right? And what you've been having lately in the city of Fresno is, or it's not even lately, it's been happening, homes. We just don't hear about it too much. You know, because we're really not focused on what's going on in Fresno. That's like an island over there. They do their own thing, homes. You don't really see too many bulldogs outside of Fresno. You will see them. They do wiggle, homes. They're not ashamed to go anywhere. You'll catch them at Great America slipping once in a while. But for the most part, they're in the city of Fresno and the outstanding areas. You know, the county. County dogs. But they have problems within their own city. A serious threat. See, there's a threat to the bulldogs. And it's not Norteños or Southerners. The threat to the bulldogs is their own selves, Right? Because they're renegades, homes, because they have decided to go against the grain and not listen to any rules and regulations. See, they're the one group of the Rasa that's not structured like that. They pretty much control and run their own hood to hood, barrio to barrio, click to click. Their clicas are different, eh? Right? They could do whatever the fuck they want, and it's all good. But there's a new group that has sprung up from the ashes, just like any other group. And it's a dropout group. And they're called the cutthroats. And these are bulldogs that somewhere along the line fell off. Now, I don't know how they could be in bad standings because how are you going to be in bad standings with a group that doesn't really push a hard line like that as far as, you know, they check paperwork, man. You can't be no rata. You can't be no scumbag or none of that. Bulldogs are about that business. But at the same time, how are you going to fall off when it's just you and your homeboy segregated on a yard doing your thing? Hey, every once in a while, if you see the opposition, get off where you're mad at. Come on now, homes. You ain't new to this. You're supposed to be true to this. If you're a perro chato with a bulldog on your fucking cheek, handle your business. Okay, that's what real ones do. That's what they've been doing. You know, I, that's why I give them so much respect, the city of Fresno and the perro chatos, because, man, it must be a lonely, lonely thing, man, to be alone, to be oppressed by so many. To know that any type of yard you hit or anywhere that they send you, if the fucking black house fuck up just one time, just said one time, then beep, 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 that's all, folks, right? It could be ugly for you. Um, so those that are really doing their thing, you got to respect that gangster, homie. You know, but they move differently. Like I said, they don't have to follow no rules and regulations. They're going to do whatever the fuck they want to do according to the bulldog agenda. So how you could be a cutthroat and a drop out from a gang that doesn't really do it like that, you know, I don't understand. But there is. Okay, there is. There's a group that got together that formulated on the SNY yards. I said it. Fill it up with unleaded. On the sensitive needs yards. There's so many different groups that have came from, I don't know where the fuck they came from. You have authors like two, two fivers that came, you know, they started somewhere else. I think they started in Chino and then they, as righteous dropouts and then gravitated towards the SNY yards. You have independent riders that was started. You have the Northern riders. Um, of course, you have the cutthroats, which are the bulldogs now. And then you have like the brothers by choice. And uh, there's so many other different things. Uh, you know, there's a whole bunch of got YouTubers right now running around. They're just scared to tell the gang they were from the GBGs. But there's a whole lot of shit going on. Everybody wants to be a part, a new part of something new, I guess. They still can't give up the ghost. They can't just let it go, eh? They still want to gangbang, right? That's the righteous thing to do, I guess. Um, come on now, man. You're Grow up. Um, but these cutthroats started. And what they are is they're a group of renegade bulldogs. Bulldogs that still fly, fly, uh, fly under the bulldog banner. They still claim bulldog. They still claim Fresno. Yet they're not going to conform to the Bulldogs rules that, according to what I've heard, Bulldogs don't have too many rules. You just can't be no weirdo. can't be a fuckboy. Bam. Other than that, better chatos. Let's go. Right mount up. Represent your city to the fullest. 
So these guys are actually taking an initiative to go out there and clip dogs. They're actually trying to get at their own homeboys. Imagine that. That's some cold shit. You know, there's been many a times when I was active, man, I was really wiggling. I know a bunch of motherfuckers that fell off got away. Because we'd hit them up like, hey, where you from, homie? They'd be like, I'm from fucking Soho. Let's just say Soho, right? All right, that's right. You know, the homeboy, whoop de whoop whoop de whoop And San Jose's a big city, so not a lot of people know everybody. Nah, Charlie Holmes, but I heard about this. But I thought, all right, yeah, yeah, that's the homie. I did time with him in YA. And that was it. That's all it took. Didn't ask him if he was active back in then. Didn't ask him if he was functioning. Didn't ask him none of that shit. Didn't ask him if he was locked up before. Didn't ask him if he was a cheetah. All I asked him was, do you know the homeboy Muggsy, the horse you, right? Yeah, yeah, I know Muggsy. Yeah, that was it. That's all it took. We're kicking it, getting Pisciano. I could be getting Pisciano with a fucking serial killer for all I know, right? Um, At the end of the day, that's how it was, you know? So, but these bulldogs, they all know about each other. See, Fresno's a big city, but small town living. You know, everybody knows everybody. All these different clicas, they've either went to school together, they've interacted, they got at each other, shot at each other. It's just the way it is. You know, Central Valle, it's not really that big. It's not, it's not like Frisco or San Jose or fuck. I mean, but Fresno is a big city, but spread out. So all these gang members, they know each other. Um, so when these cutthroats get together and they come out, you know, they start pushing a hard line on these dogs. And these dogs will push back. One thing about the city of Fresno, you're not going to go there and fuck up the dogs, bro. You might win a little battle. You're not going to win the war. They got it sewed up. Every time I go to Fresno, my head is on swivelization. Boom, boom, boom. I'm looking at every stoplight, man. When I'm in the stoplights, I do that old school shit. I keep my shit rolling, right? I park about a fucking car distance from the back of another car so I can hit that reverse thing. And get on, right? Because you already know what it is, man. If a better shot to spot you, they know everyone. Hey, that what those, that a northerner. They're gonna be on you, but I don't gangbang no more. We don't get, we do, right? And they're gonna fuck me up. Um, I'm not scared, but at the same time, man, I'm just smart. You know, I'm intelligent enough to understand the situation. Now, these cutthroats are mysterious to me because a lot of these guys, I met one of them before, right? I said, hey, you know, you're you're a bulldog on me, right? So I don't gangbang shit. He was like, nah, nah, I'm a I'm a cutthroat dog. I said, well, what's that? He said, we're against the active bulldogs. I said, why? You know what they do to you, right? He said, nah, I'm not shit. they consider me no longer in good standings. Fuck them vatos, right? And I was like, well, what'd you do to be no longer in good standings? How many did you tell on the world? We are the world. He told on the world, right? Or what'd you do? Did you bone one of their old ladies and they just didn't like you no more? Because it's not like, you know, the Bulldogs are not considered one of the big four. They're considered a security threat group, a disruptive group, I believe. Um, they're acknowledged within the CDC system. Believe me, they know about the dogs. You know, they've been doing it for a lot of years from F-14ers to Pedro Chatos. They've been putting it down, but they're not part of the big four. They're not a, a pr considered a prison gang. You know, they're more of a group, you know, um, and they carry themselves how they carry themselves. You know, I'm not here to belittle them or, or defend them. I'm just saying the Bulldogs, are, if they were no threat, homie, they weren't a factor. No one would even talk about them. Let's just put it like that. I hate when people are like, oh, the Pedros are there. No factors. Homie. They're all in Fresno. They ain't coming nowhere. Shit, bro. I got scars on my body that say. That's a lie, right? They're definitely a factor in this shit. They're brown, ain't they? You can't be a brown man and sit there and talk shit about another brown man and think that they're a coward and they're weak just because of the city they come from or because they don't listen or follow the same rules and regulations you do. If anything, that's their bulldog's qualms against us, you know, ex-northerners or northerners and southerners, is that they think that we are at the dictation of other men, that we can't control our own destiny and run our own show. That's furthest from the truth. Men will be men no matter what. You have your own mind. You have your own mind. Sometimes you can do whatever he does, cuz. Um, but of course, man, you have to respect those that have set the foundation and come before you. And you're enlightened like that. And that's just it. You know, if you choose to roll like that, then you choose to roll like that. You're going to mind somebody. Or you know, you don't fuck that, right? And it's, they're going to remind you. Now, these cutthroat dogs are starting to make moves in the city of Fresno. They're starting to get deeper. Why are they getting deeper? Because a lot of the hardships that real bulldogs go through. Imagine this. Imagine nobody likes you. Imagine you're the most hated group in the CDC system. You think the brothers in the woods, brother, want bulldogs on their yard? They don't want that because they know that don't, nobody likes them. They don't know why. A lot of them are not educated enough or even know why, but they just know that these guys are outcasted. You know, when you're a group that no one likes, you're considered trash to them other groups. You're considered no good. You might be active. You might be solid as fuck, caught good charges. It's all good. But according to the other groups, you're trash, homie. You're no good. Mm, period. If you hit the yard, you're getting rushed just as quick as a deal would get rushed when it's general population. So being that the bulldogs are segregated, people try to stay away from them. Like, nah, fuck that. I ain't trying to function with the dog. Nah, I don't want to get 
get caught up because of them. So with these non-active bulldogs that are starting to spring up the cutthroat group, you know, um, you would trip on the moves that they're making on these dogs and how easy it is for them to get in and manipulate. You know, they could manipulate the system. And I've, hey, so the one I talked to, this is what he did. This is what he told me, right? It could be fucking all got guy and it could be just bullshitting. But he told me that he gets to Wasco, which I believe is the reception of the Bulldogs. And he had just fell off prior that, that, all right, so he had did a term. He fell off during that term. He wiggled over to an S&Y yard. He was clicked up with the, the cutthroat Bulldogs. He got put on. He decided, I hate dogs now, right? All dogs are going to go to heaven when I get out. Um, and so he gets out, but he doesn't tell anyone. Now, that's a kind of a cowardice move on mine. He doesn't, you know, I mean, you don't, you don't have to tell anyone. You're out now. You know what I mean? You did what you had to do in prison. Now you're out. Just live your life. Most people just fucking go get a job at the camp food store and do their thing, right? But this Vothel, um was out there still running with his homeboys and was trying to stay under the radar. So anyways, he catches a violation. They sent him to Wasco. He gets to Wasco, and now all of a sudden, he's a cutthroat again, right? He's going to fucking handle his business. So he was able to manipulate the dogs and take flight on a few of them and handle his thing. He didn't pull up a piece. He didn't do none of that. But he flighted them, and they were tripping like, God damn, one of our own dogs turned on us? Um... These little minor things turn major, you know, where they started to, I guess this was one of the first movidas, he says, right? They started to become a factor. They started to become known that there was this new group, cutthroat bulldogs, that were actually dropout dogs. I didn't understand what they dropped out from. Like, I did, I, I'll never get it, but it was what it was, and it is what it is. They're still around. Um, at the end of the day, the bulldogs, you know, they're always going to be that one group that people are going to say either they, they couldn't hang or they were fucking, they, they set the trend. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like for that to be the first group that actually distanced himself from an organization and thrived and survived, you know, it says a lot about them. You know, there's not a lot of gangs or vaudevilles up north. I'm not even going to speak down south, homes. That's a whole different fucking, a whole different animal, right? But as far as up north goes, because I can speak on that being from up there, um, there's not a lot of groups or gangs homes that could go independent, that could decide, Hey, we're not going to be a part of the, of the cause anymore. And we're just going to do us. They'll get eradicated homes. Everybody will be on their head shit. Everybody will fuck them off. It's just what, it's what will happen. Facts, right? Um, when you're hated, you're hated homes. And then your tire gets deflated and then you're riding on spokes and those break too. I'm telling you, you'll have nothing coming, um, with the bulldogs they were able to sustain and even thrive. You know, and it trips me out when I think about, because I got a lot of homeboys that are perros. I got, now I guess a lot of bulldogs that don't like me for one reason or another, just because some tweaker ass bulldog fucking said so. Um, but you know, it's just the way it is. Homes. It's the way it is. Um, but for them to be going against their own trips me out. And it lets me know that this world is changing drastically, especially when it comes to the gang aspect of life. It's changing all around the world. And we need to be worried about what's happening. About the, there's no food in Walmart anymore. There's a, there's a, the Awa is fucking extinct, right? There's just a lot going on. But here I am, again, on Gunner's fucking collective clips, talking about, you know, the, per the perros, the bulldogs. And uh, I just want to say to all the, this cutthroat group, I'm just tired of these dropout gang songs. P I don't understand the reasoning behind it, okay? I I'm not disrespecting the shit. I understand people are disgruntled. They just want to, you know, they just, they just want to join something else. I, I don't know. Uh, but my whole thing with it is, how the fuck are you going to drop out from being a fucking active bulldog or whatever you're claiming, Holmes, to be a non-active bulldog that gets off on active bulldogs. It doesn't make no sense, Holmes. You already had an enemy, Holmes. You already had your camaradas, your dogs, your perros, your homeboys. Baltos that rock with you to the fullest. You guys need every soldado you got. They're not very deep in the system, man. That thumbnail right there, the Fresno boys, that's about the majority of them right there on B Yard and fucking Pelican Bay. That's it. Active bulldogs. Facts. You know, there's not a lot of them in the system. Not like there used to be. It seemed like there was more Fresno boys. Not as many of them. Um, half of them are falling off. It's just like the Northenia movement, man. Only the strong survive. You see a lot of people that are in my position, right? They're not active anymore. They fell off or they dropped out or they got removed or whatever the case may be. Um, it's the new trend. It's what's happening. Sometimes, man, it's, it's ugly. You know, it's ugly. You don't want to go that route, but it's just, it's just the way it is, right? Um, but one thing you can never say about me is I'm not part of another gang, join another gang, man. It, it was done. If I'm done, I'm done, eh? And that's just it, period. Um, so I've always sat back with real righteous people, man. And we've always wondered like, why, how can people do this? But they do it. I guess it's happening with the bulldogs now with the cutthroats. And from what I'm hearing, my nose is just, that guy got money coming. They're a very dangerous group. Um, 
And that's because they could be chameleons, man. They could get in where they fit in, you know? And I know I was getting at my homeboy. He's an active federal the other day. And he was telling me, he was like, yeah, bro. He's like, we'd be on the lookout for them vatos, you know, because you don't never know what happens. is, And this is what happens, too. It happened in my town. A vato will fall off on a term, and it's hard for paperwork to catch. I mean, now I guess it's easier with cell phones. Hey, guess what? That poop butt fell off. So it's pretty easy. But you don't know, like, say fucking someone gets shipped out, they end up in the oil, they fall off in the oil, now they get out a couple weeks later, and they got that mentality of, fuck everyone, man, Vatos were going to whack me, I found out, and then they want to put moves down, right? Um, and so then, you know, that's what happens. It's just a trip um, that nowadays you can't even worry about just going to prison, doing your time, getting out, getting back to your familia, your old lady, before she bones the black dude next door. You can't worry about that anymore. Now you have to worry about your own homeboys turning on you, bottles falling off, people telling on you, dropping kites. I mean, it's just, it's rougher than it's ever been. We live in an era, man, of chaos. You know, chaos in the real world and chaos behind them walls. Um, but as far as the Bulldogs go, yes, they are going at it with this group called the Cutthroat Dogs, who basically their main agenda is to get off on active Bulldogs. They're mad for some reason. But really, if you look at it, there's a reason why you had to fall off. Homes. That's like if you meet a black guy on like an SNY yard or a 50-50 yard, you're wondering, how the fuck did you get here? What are you doing here? Who'd you tell on to get here? Because you need to understand that there should be no reason for that Valtor to be over there. Like, it's not it's not common. You know, it's very uncommon. But I can understand the, the brothers are like, fuck you. And the stomponization gets real. And of course, that's where they're going to house that, that dude, right? But um, to see Bulldogs come together as a group and fall off, it's just, it's not very common, man. I guess they want to change their lives, but for dudes that want to fall off and change their lives, they sure not displaying that because then they want to get out and push that hard line on real bulldogs that are doing their thing. I say real bulldogs because they're really in the shit. You know, it's hard to be a dog. I can't, <laughs> hey, I'm looking at it from the outside looking in and I'm saying, good low, right? It's hard to be a bulldog. You got to understand, nobody likes them. You know, any one of those bottles who does terms, man, and handles their business and rocks righteously, I got to give them respect. Anyways, with that being said, man, that's my little spill on the Fresno boys. Um, if they aren't that dangerous, if they weren't all about that, man, then we wouldn't even be talking about them. They are definitely factors in the game, in the raza, and they are brown, homes. So we got to respect them just like anyone else, and that's just facts. With that being said, I hope that you move smooth with a purpose. Get everything that you want coming to you. Remember, at the end of the day, it's all about the striving struggle and the struggle to strive, right? I'm going to continue to do what I does. You know what I'm saying? Right now, it's about that time. I know my old lady wants me to call her, so I'm going to go ahead and handle that one time. You know, thumbs up or thumbs down. See, heavy's going to be the head that wears the crown. I'm going to continue to strive and struggle and struggle and strive for whatever it is the fuck that I'm going to do. And what I'm going to do is speak the real all the time, man, and give respect to those who need that respect, who garner that respect, who earn that respect. This is The Gun. Collective clips. Like and subscribe. Don't fuck up with your boy, man. Sounds scared. I got a whole lot of more for you.